Welcome back everybody, how are we doing? Oh, thank you so much for the love that you've been showing me! Oh, I mean, I'm just so glad I've helped so many people with this Sky Stream service. Okay, so what is this video about? Okay, this video is a, a kind of closure on the Sky Stream because I want to give uh, Steve's final thought on the Sky Stream service. Uh, and how have I found it? How am I finding it? What do I do I recommend it for you guys? Is there anything else better? Well, 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 you might ask. You see, Skystream, this stuff here, it's a tiny little box compared to the beast that I've got to send back. Finally, they sent me the package. Well done, Sky. Uh, it's, it's a lot different. The puck is small, it's light, it has the connections that you need. And I've got so much incredible feedback from you guys that I was blown away. And I, I just want to say thank you for that. But my opinion on Sky Stream for how much I watch normal TV, which recently has increased because of the football. However, I can go on to ITV app, I can go onto the BBC app, and I've got to say, I'm not bigging up the BBC because a lot of people got their issues and licenses and everything else, but the BBC app is really good. <laughs> I have no crush. In fact, the BBC app on the Sky Stream box is better than the BBC app on Google TV, the TV, Smart TV, and Apple TV. Oh no! What are you talking about, Steve? No way! Yes way, because when I watch the football, for example, on BBC, and I put the Sky Stream app on and go through the BBC iPlayer, it gives me the option to go to Ultra HD. Doesn't do that on the Apple TV app. It certainly doesn't do it on the Smart TV app. And it didn't do it on the Google TV app. For whatever they've done on the smart stream, <laughs> sky stream box, I was just better. Uh, it just seemed better. Now, whether they've updated that in a new app on Apple TV, as of yet, I don't know. There's not been any football on for me to test it, but it wasn't there the other day. Uh, so that was really good. But the ITV app, in fact, I posted in my YouTube community last week what happened to YouTube. I even tried doing that refresh app thing in the settings of the Skystream. Okay, let's refresh those apps. Refresh the apps. How do I do it again? System management. Refresh the apps. Refreshing apps. The apps are being refreshed. Okay. Apps are being refreshed. How long does it take to refresh the apps? Come on, refresh the apps. Refreshing the apps. And we're refreshed. Does it come back and tell us that it's refreshed? Hello? Now it's frozen. God damn you, Sky! God damn it! Two thousand years later. Just as I go towards it, it comes on. God damn this bloody sky! Okay, as the app's refreshed, can I get into YouTube? Taking its time. We're lagging. Yeah. Okay, go back home, let's go to TV Guide, is it all updated, all channels, yeah, okay, so just a reboot, it was needed, ah, excellent, let's go to movies, are we still good, oh, Matrix. Watch from the start, we're back! That and that 
right there, that, that little bit is the bit that I struggle with. It's the apps. It's the apps. They are flaky to say the least. The, the, the little box itself can be sluggish, especially when you first switch it on and you want to scroll through some of the menus, can be a bit sluggish. So on those grounds, I'm going to keep it because it's been cheaper. It's a rolling 30 day contract and it's there if and when I need it for now. Um, however, Now TV, a lot of you pointed me to this unbelievable deal and I'm trying my hardest to get my head around that because I think the BBC, iPlayer, Channel 4 and all that stuff I can get on the apps even though the apps seriously need updating. ITV are coming up fighting. BBC is already there. They've done really well with that app. Channel 4, 5 on demand, all that kind of stuff. But then again, how much do I watch from Channel 5? How much do I watch from Channel 4? Uh, not much. Um, and I have inquired about um, Freeview Play, which is an app that will be coming that gives you all those features. At the moment, you can get it on a box. Some of the smart TVs are already being updated to get Freeview Play. Watch this space. That could be the game changer. For me, for smoothness, for picture, for sound, Apple TV still wins this race for me, which is why I'm keeping it. Um, and I think Skystream should get there. But however, if it's you who hit me up in the comments on this one, it's been out for a year and it's still that flaky at the moment. So I haven't had any real issues with it as such, apart from, like I said, the little bit of lag that I experience and the apps. I tend to just switch to Apple TV to use YouTube, to use ITV, uh, BBC, uh, films and stuff. I just use the Apple TV because it's just so smooth and the transitions and it's just it just works <laughs> it just works as paul hibbert would say it just works it just works it just works if you haven't checked paul hibbert out he's so funny uh smart home reviewer i'll link him in the description below i just love the way he does his characters <laughs> so uh so yeah sky stream for me guys i'm gonna keep it because it's a rolling day 30 contract, I can go in and out if I need to. Now TV could be the answer if I want to get the Sky Channels, but that's the problem. I don't watch enough of the Sky Channels to warrant getting the Now TV, even though some of you guys are telling me you're getting it for like £2.99, £4.99. Uh, uh, you know, may, I don't know. Maybe if I just keep playing with it and keep bobbing in and out as many of you do, I, I might get my head around it, but for now I'll keep Sky Stream. But for the majority of the stuff that I do watch and play with, it's it's Apple TV for me, guys. So um, again, thank you so much, so so much. Um, I am going to be looking at um, Amazon um, and this Freevee, Freevee, which is an an advert based free TV service. I've been looking at it. I think I need more time to get my head around it because I'm not quite sure what you're up to here, Amazon. Um, and I will be looking at it through the Fire TV stick. Uh, so that's coming up. Also, I have the review on the car. That's coming up as well. And also, guys, what do you want to see? You know, you know, I do all the music. I'm very heavily into the streaming services of music, TV, boxes. I want to deliver what you want to watch as well in a fun, entertaining way. And I know, I know I suck at reviews. I know I do. But you know me, I just give it to you straight. I don't, give, I don't mess around. I don't lie. And because someone's paying me, I give it to you straight and hopefully help you make that calculated decision on whether you want to invest your hard-earned money into some of these services. So until then, guys, thank you so much. All your love and support. Uh, I'm blown away by it. I really am. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and, and watch this. If you click the like button, it does this really weird amina animation. Am animation. Animation. <laughs> I just, I, honestly, it's one of those days. But it is a beautiful day out there today. However, it is freezing. The old Bruce Lees are well and truly out. Yeah! So, uh, until next time, everyone, peace. Yeah. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great.